Welcome YouTubers to a another fantastic Nexus 7 2013 um, install here. What I have currently is an operating system called Mi UI, and um, it's kind of like a mix of they say like an Apple OS, Samsung TouchWiz. It's kind of um, based off an Android uh, operating system. So uh, this is what it. Well, you can see right now that it is currently running on my Nexus 7. It runs actually very well. Um, I was very pleased. I just put it on here, I'd say maybe 15 minutes ago. And uh, thanks to one of the comments I had on a previous video by a guy named Dr. Magneto, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, with two T's there, uh, he had asked about what about the uh, Mi UI. Uh, now it's available for the Nexus 7 and um, I just had to put it on here and here it is and it's uh it's really awesome you know things work so perfectly just uh, it's got really nice sounds to it uh, when you turn it off turn it back on you can slide this sucker up we'll come right back to this in a second but I'm gonna show you how I got this far because you're gonna be rather I was excited on how I could do it this way it wasn't uh, pre shown in the um, let me go ahead and reset restart this and then I'm gonna go ahead and click here to reboot I'm gonna go and reboot the system so this is what's really cool about it and uh, I found the website and I'll show you where you go um, I'll put probably put the link on there but basically I typed in uh, me UI which is M I U I Nexus 7 2013 in Google and I uh, look at that, Google and then it just popped up the first thing it was their website uh, let's go ahead and go to internal as you can see there's a little precursor what's going on where it's installed this is pretty bad to the bone so we're gonna just install from the uh, my stock here and um so I got on the website there and I just did some reading now you have to be a little careful when you're reading this because I attempted to do it once and whether I goofed up or did something I, I, I'm not too sure but um, it says once you flash the zip file uh, clear out your cache your Dalvik all that stuff um, wipe data for this uh, uh, ROM that you put on here and then go to uh, instead of rebooting your your tablet here you want to just go ahead and turn it off so I turned it off and then turned it back on and then it was it was perfect it, it, it started right up like a champ so what you want to do here is we're gonna to go to the website okay basically let's go to the beginning here oh things are loading up because it just started but let me go back to the beginning okay here's what Google did I typed in you can see up here in the search bar first thing it showed up introduces new ROM build for tablets beta available I mean it's it's great just for a beta so I just clicked on that right into this looked at some of the pictures they had a cool thing now right here you see M I U I oh where get back here I just clicked on that okay and then it says here's a download link it doesn't look like a link because it's the same lettering as most of the stuff but there's your link then it says flashing guide and there's your guide okay so you click on the link let it download and while it's downloading go to the guide and do a little bit of reading on the guide so it tells you how to download the necessary files now it, it goes through the whole process of unlocking your bootloader for your nexus and all that stuff but we've already done that stuff because I wouldn't be this far if I hadn't done these things already okay so and this wouldn't be the first thing I put on my nexus and rooting it at the same time or unlocking bootloader I would have done all that stuff previously so it talks about flashing preparing let's go down to you know because it's talking about using the twerp 2.7.0.0 which is fantastic um, let's go back up to flashing the famous me UI ROM okay um, we're gonna flash around through twerp recovery when I saw this I saw twerp recovery uh, wait a couple minutes do this stuff wipe these things your cache and all that stuff and data and everything then turn it off and turn it back on it's all in contained right here I thought to myself why not try multi-rom most of the stuff I've been bringing to you has been through multi-rom I'll put the link below of course 
So, without further delay here, I'm going to show you on my ES file manager here that in my downloads there is the MIUI Nexus 7, okay? It's there. It's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and reboot to recovery. Hit OK. I mean, I'm really excited. This is great. This is, I wasn't even thinking about looking into this. I've heard it a few times with, in some of the forums. XDA had a couple things on it, you know, in their forums about people asking. It was like a year or so ago uh, on age, you know, and I'm like, eh, I kind of steered away from looking at what this was all about. So I never really thought about it until I was asked um, from one of my, you know, supporters like um, any of you and I who watch this, myself, of course, duh, but any of the watchers, I consider them my supporters here. So here's your standard. You don't want to go there. I go to Advanced, go over to Multi-ROM. You want to go to Add ROM, okay? The next zip file, and then there it is. You click on it like normal, boom, and you would swipe to flash it, okay? Let it do its thing. When it's done, go back, go back, excuse me. Then you go to List ROMs. There's the ROM right there. Wipe data, wipe Dalvik, wipe cache, okay? Do it all. Then go back, go back again, go back again, all the way to the beginning. Hit reboot, and then you want to go to power off, okay? I've already done that, obviously, because you've seen it working. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit reboot system, okay? Now, when you reboot system with multi-ROM, of course, it shows up and gives you the option to uh, not auto boot. You just click on it. You can click on any of the ROMs you have down downloaded. There it is. It was that simple. And then I just hit boot. Now you can all check this out. It didn't take very long at all. So I was very excited about this. And uh, I hope you all are pretty excited because a lot of people I have been talking to are looking for a change. Things that are a little bit different. And this is, I mean, it's fantastic. It was just smooth, perfect running the first time, right out of the box. Well, except for the first download, you know, last night when I played around, and I just didn't do it per the instructions. Here we go. Bam. I don't know about that face there, but you just swipe up. Bam. This is just great. You got your time. You got the settings down here is pretty similar to what you've seen before, which is, uh, you know, like, yeah, just like the regular Nexus, except for the back button would probably be over here or something like that. But no big deal. You know, you go to camera cloud, market, you know, like I showed you all before, really neat. You swipe down like, like you would normally. Here's your settings. We'll go into settings here. Android version, MIUI version, uh, quad core, there's my RAM, two gigs, thank God. Um, you know, all this other information that you got, your notification security, you got all kinds of cool stuff. To look at here I mean it goes about tablet pretty much yep that's where we're at developer options system updates backup reset auto running you know apps manage system apps uh, language date and time date and time was a little odd when I first turned it on and asked me what language I picked English but date and time didn't really have the United States but no big deal I can handle it without it um, buttons your home back button you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this here. Um, custom key position. See that there? Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Now I've got the way I want it. I want my back button on the left side. Okay? Perfect. That, I mean, that's it. You know, and you can... Your display, your sound, your brightness, um, auto-rotate, your screen, your sleep after 30 seconds, pulse notification light. I mean, it, it's just so fluid. So, this is the update that I have for y'all today. Here's the browser. Um, wow, that's pretty neat. All kinds of options here. So, I hope y'all enjoy this video as much as I have enjoyed showing you. Um, if you like this, please ask me any questions you want. I'll pull this up. I'll look at it. If you feel antsy about putting it on here because something might get messed up, don't worry. I'll go through the do the hard stuff for you. So, 
I hope you enjoy this video I have for you today. Please like and subscribe. The more you, the more you like, the more you subs the people who subscribe, the more I'm going to put stuff like this out here and and, and help y'all out. All right. Thank you for watching. Take care.